It is. Well, we all love our tablets, phones, and even iPods, but we want to bend your ear about how noise-induced hearing loss is on the rise among kids in the U.S., and it's tied into overusage of these types of devices. And Dr. Nakia Butler, audiologist from Hearing Services of North Texas, can walk us through how parents can handle this. And what is too loud? Because I'm hearing all kinds of things, but I think as I'm getting older, things to me are too loud. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, just the u measurement of sound is measured in a unit called decibels. So an example of a soft decibel would be a whisper. Mm -hmm. That's about 10 to 15 decibels. Mm -hmm. um, speaking in a quiet room like we are now, that's right at 50 decibels. Okay. Now, a handheld hair dryer, mm -hmm. that's right at 85 decibels, and that's getting at that dangerous level of loud sounds. Right. 85 decibels. So when it comes to children, what are, what are we supposed to be monitoring here? All right. So just to make people aware that iPods, tablets, and phones, mm -hmm. they can reach up to 115 decibels, oh, which wow. is well above that 85 decibels. Without an ear plug plugged into it? Yes. We're talking just... The, just just the, the thing itself can reach up to 115 really? decibels. Okay. So people are using their um, devices more and more throughout the day, and they're exposed to those loud sounds for a longer period of time, mm -hmm. and they acquire that hearing loss in, in kids that we used to see only in older adults as they age. So um, losing th hearing. Yes. Wow. Yes. So things we can do for kids to monitor their hearing and keep them from getting this hearing loss is first go into the device settings, mm -hmm. and if you look under the settings menu, there's usually a place for the volume. Right. You can lower that maximum output. Right. So turning down that slider just a little bit will keep you from when you're using the device every day, you're not reaching that 115 decibels. Right. Okay, so that would be the first step. Um, also, they have a volume limiting headsets for kids. So this is an example uh, by a brand called Kids Gear. Mm -hmm. They achieve the same thing. So some tablets and phones don't have that setting in the menu to turn it down. Mm -hmm. This actually has a, a limiter inside so the volume will never exceed over 85 decibels oh. no matter what they put on the dial. Oh, that's good. Okay. And um, where, can I just ask real quick where sure. can you get these? They are usually sold at Walmart, Target, okay. and you can also just find them on the internet. All right. Mm -hmm. um, Again, if some you don't have that option to turn down the volume within your settings, mm -hmm. you can use an adapter. So some people like to use their own buds with these. This adapter just connects between the phone or whatever you're using. Mm -hmm. You plug your earplugs or headsets in it, and it achieves that where it keeps sound under 85 decibels. Okay. okay. Now, um, for adults and kids, um, when you're using those devices, you know, using those generic earbuds are really not the best because they don't block out background noise. Mm -hmm. So when you're in a really crowded room, that's when you tend to crank up that volume right. because you want to drown out all the noise around you. Exactly. So if you just go to a standard um, over-the-ear set, yeah. um, it just immediately blocks out background noise and you're more likely to keep the volume at a Lower. safe level. Mm -hmm. And the best option would be custom ear molds. So custom fitted by your ear, by your local audiologist. I have a pair here. Are that, these yours? Yes, they've been custom fitted and to my ear. And they're blinged out as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> they come in lots of fun colors and designs. But this How is cool. an example of a custom fitted earbud. Mm -hmm. It fits properly, so we know it's keeping out background noise, and you're more likely to keep uh, the volumes of safe levels. So you just plug this into your phone or yes. whatever. Mm -hmm. um, whatever you're listening you're to. Listening on. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a great idea. So we just go to like somewhere like your office, and yes. y'all can have these molds made. Your local audiologist um, will be able to make these for you. It's mm -hmm. a very simple process. And um, if you're not here in the Dallas area, just try to find someone local that will do it for you. Yeah, but we do idea. it at our office at Hearing Services of North Texas. I, I know that the earpieces we use here can get really loud as well sometimes. Yes. And then you wonder, like, okay, is this hurting this one ear and then I'm going to be off balance, you know? That definitely can happen. And, of course, staying out of rock and roll concerts might help a little bit as well. Yes, loud noise <laughs> Don't go in the general. third row of Motley Crue, right? That's right. Not without earplugs. You can go, but put in some earplugs. Earplugs. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Butler. Thank you. Good information. Yeah. Be sure to check out our website at thebroadcasttv.com and then click on details um, for the Hearing Services of North Texas Facebook page. And if you like good eating, you're in the right place. We'll be back with another great recipe straight out of Stephen uh, Recklin's. I'm not sure if I said that right, but he's a great cook and we've got to talk about him when he comes back.